we have benefited so much in this country uh, from those who have come from away uh, in pain, afraid, uh, fleeing uh, violence and struggle, trying to find a better life. Uh, that's what Canada is all about. And uh, we are reminded, I think, um, always, um, over and over again, about the incredible contribution that those who can arrive in this country with nothing, uh, you know, are able to then to start to give back to the country as you have. In a community of peoples who have arrived in Canada, uh, but you, Madam, are single-handedly standing out today, as you do so many days, um, as one who wants to perpetuate that theme of education, which we will take seriously. Uh, but, you know, the, the embrace that you have given the armed forces and your regiment uh, is second to none. And we could not really function as we do without that kind of support. And so I am grateful to you. I'm also grateful, Helen, uh, for the team we have with the staff of non-public funds under the able leadership of uh, Mr. Canelon, uh, who every day uh, try to marshal those uh, important resources uh, and including the, the donation, the endowment that you've given. Uh, it's, it's, it's tremendous, it's significant, and it will last forever, uh, as will our uh, thanks to you. But that this team is able to put that together and vector it to where it's needed most. And I just want to assure you, because I, I work with them all the time, uh, that I know of no more dedicated group uh, who can take uh, the kind of philanthropy that you have shown and continue to show and be able to get it to where it is needed most. And it is needed, and, and especially education. I am deeply honored uh, to know you. Uh, we love you, Helen. We love you with all our hearts and keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and uh, we will benefit from your generosity and your kindness, but most importantly, your friendship and wisdom. God bless you. Thank you.